are you doing? All right, and we're off. Weekend trip to Nikki's wedding. Who's excited? Me. Yay. All right, got a couple little pit stops first, but uh, we're out and on our way. Good morning and happy Saturday. Here from, uh, where are we at? Cousin Fort Street. No. <laughs> Here at Fort Lee, Virginia. Uh, getting some Waffle House. Cuz, why Waffle House? It's my people. All right, another interesting thing about this Waffle House. We're on Kirk Cousin Street. Yeah, and it's our cousin's wedding. Coincidence? I think not. Starting our day off with a little waffle house. Ding ding da ding 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 So we got a little time to kill before the wedding and uh, me and Ethan and Matthew decided to stop by Petersburg's National Battlefield take a look around. I've never been here before. So Matthew's uh, a big history buff like myself. So explain kind of what went down here at the end of the end of the Civil War. So Grant and Lee were having this game of chase all the way down to Petersburg, which is right off the the river that was supplying Richmond. And Grant didn't have enough troops to take Richmond, so he came down to the second best place, which was Petersburg. And uh, after that. It was all defeats for the Confederacy. It was the last stand by the Confederacy and the Union won it. It's kind of like the Waterloo of the Confederacy. This is the very last stand. So you can see this is uh, Richmond, Virginia right here. And then you've got Petersburg down here. It says you are here. And if you look real, real close, you can see us right there on the map. <laughs> and then uh, as you can see going up the river, this is the James River coming in down here. There's the Potomac River. Washington DC, Fredericksburg up there, Richmond, and then uh, Petersburg down here. And this was a big junction you can see right there. If they would have, if, when the Union did eventually take that, it completely cut off Richmond's supply lines. So this is uh, pretty interesting. We're going to walk around and see what we can find. It's a bunker on, a, on, the, on the interwebs. And it was used to like break down walls. I could fit. You can fit your head in there. <laughs> and then a kaboom came. <laughs> I wonder what cannon took that tree down. This is Fifth Massachusetts. Here's a Calvary man. Um, so this is hardtack. You know what hardtack is, Ethan? The food they ate. It's one of the foods they ate, but. They used to get maggots in it, so they used to dip it in their coffee, and then they would get it soaked up, and then they would take a knife and clean off the top layer to get the maggots off, and then they would eat their hardtack. I would have ate the maggots. No, you wouldn't have. Good protein. Well, it looks like some cards and dominoes troops would play. I like how they put it in the ground. <laughs> Oh, 
That's not a bowling ball, folks. Oh, this is a, uh... a cluster shot. It'll, you'll fire it and it'll break open and it'll fire a bunch of little beads. Just like this one down It's probably for like anti infiltration. Imagine you're a soldier, all right, to the Union, and you're coming through this empty space, and you got this thing right here, about to fire. That would be absolutely terrifying. I've seen the movie. You would have to swerve. Like, just hoping it's not pointed at you. I mean, they don't really move. What you would do is you would lift it up, and you'd move it. Place it down, fire, lift it up, move it. To, they try and maximize their casualties by firing into the biggest crowd. Yeah. For what? Yeah. The Federals had fooled Robert E. Lee. With his army entrenched around Richmond, 23 miles north of here, Lee knew nothing of the more than 30,000 Union troops that marched toward Petersburg the afternoon of June 15, 1864. Well, that's pretty steep if you're a soldier having to try to get up it. No, I agree. There's a little cannon on the other side waiting for you. I like the shade. <laughs> no, it's a soldier's hut. It's a soldier's hut. I think they were your size, Ethan. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. They, they were miniature. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Look, Ethan doesn't even have to duck. <laughs> I think I have to duck. It's so cold. You have to sleep on this. It would be painful. When you're cooking, it'd probably smoke up a lot. No, no, you to, got a chimney out there. But you would have to put it far in there. And then you wouldn't get that hot. <laughs> They'd be Carlin' for heat. Occupied by four men, so I guess two would be on, two would be off. Yeah. A hundred years ago. 150 yeah, years ago. Yeah, more hundred. What's up, buddy? Looks like a snake batter. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Not that big. Woo! <laughs> I hope he goes up your shirt. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> See you, bud. Come on, Matthew. <laughs> Whoa. Matthew, hardcore parkour. Hardcore parkour. Don't do it. He steps right. Come on, come on. Don't split your pants. <laughs> I know, that's what I'm worried about. You gotta get a running start. Yeah, you get a running start. <laughs> got it. No, you didn't have to help me. I got it. <laughs> Hardcore parkour. I wasn't born there. I was born there. I was born in that other union state of Maryland. You almost stepped right in that, didn't you? Glad I didn't jump right into that guy's nest. Ethan, come here. <laughs> I'll run down there and see. I didn't even sit in there. Hello! There's a man on the other side. See him? Hello! That's a baking company, Baltimore, Maryland. Man, that's. Tight squeeze, tight quarters on there. That's what this is right here. Oh, that's what that is right here. Yeah. Really yeah. Sure. All right, just finished up our little tour around uh, Petersburg National Battlefield. What'd you guys think? I thought there was a lot of interesting history. Some stuff that even you and me didn't know. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I really did learn a lot of things. All right, little pre-ceremony uh, video. We'll come back at you after the after the ceremony.
Next we have bridesmaid Jillian Ross, escorted by groomsman Cliff Crawford. Wendy Ross, escorted by groomsman Michael Hellman. All right. And now the maid of honor, Lauren Parrish, escorted by groomsman Craig Hellman. <laughs> Maid of Honor, Morgan Parrish, escorted by groomsman, Ben Collinger. All right. And now, ladies and gentlemen, get ready. Here they come. Mr. and Mrs. Timothy Collinger. All right, Timothy at the pole. And we're going to go right into their first dance. Let you know just how I feel, feel, feel while I'm standing here. Why? So, the only thing I've got to say is, I really don't think either one of y'all could have made it up to me. Mama and I, what are you doing? <laughs> 